don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about points. So to dive right in, we have our layout points all right here. We have our layout point, control point, and hosted point for our manual points. But you're going to see within our families, we actually have our points pre-embedded. So you can see it in our hanger here, we have pre-embedded points, which is awesome. So if your hanger moves, your points move with them, which again is huge. So you're not having to search for all your points, figure out where they all are. When your elements move, your points will move with them. But if you do need to place a manual point, especially a control point, it's pretty simple. Select the control point, make sure your numbering and your description is what you need and select the location that you want your point to be. And there you go. Now you have a control point placed. Now you can go into your point manager. So within our point manager here, you have some different view options for your display points by. So we have points by selection, which will allow you to window select an area of your view and only the points that fall in that selection will display. Current view will show all of your points in your active view and project will show points in your whole project. Within the points manager, you can see we have multiple different columns and rows here. Within here, we have our statuses. There's three statuses. One will be placed for when your points are placed. The other one will be exported when your points are exported. And the other one will be modified after you have exported your points and modified the points after the fact. You can sort and filter your different information right within here. So if you want to sort and filter your descriptions or whatnot, you can also do a a quick auto renumber of your points or do a bulk update for your description or your layer. Just make sure that the points that you want to modify are pre-selected before you run this command. Another cool feature is the include DWG background, which allows you to be able to include that DW background when you export your points. Just make sure that the view that you want to be a DWG is active. So another thing is we can quickly come in here and export the points. So again, make sure the points that you want to be exported are selected and then you can come in here and choose if you want a CSV file or a TFL file, which is again, awesome. So I'm gonna be exporting those points out to a CSV file and you're gonna see my status went from placed now to exported and my exported date also will be shown as well. Last thing I'm gonna show you is with our statuses. So again, this is exported, but let's say there was a design change and now let's say this hanger moved. So what will happen with those points? We'll go into our point manager again. I'm going to expand out my anchors and find that point. So now you can see those both points for that hanger have been changed to modified for my status. So that is today's fun future Friday on points. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.